Step is hard that tears away the roots and says goodbye to friends and family. carrying a pistol. You love this country, but when it comes to serving her, you run away to Mexico. Now, why didn't you stay in Mexico? That free country. Because I could not make the living. I was not able to find my trade. What do you think? I make sacrifice to learn better than go in Mexico to make any kind of work. So your love for the United States is commensurate with your trade, with the amount of money you get out of this country per week. Mr. Sacco, that's the extent of your love for this country, isn't it? Measured in dollars and cents. I object! I allow this on the grounds of the defense open this line. Continue, Mr. District Attorney. You wanted me to talk. That's what I'm asking you to do. You speak a dollar's a cent, Senor Prosecutor. And I bet you would have speak millions of dollars if you mean a big boss of industry or La Finanza. A man give university a lot of money and all cry out, great man, was he? But why you talk dollars and cents now? For I work just to feed my family, or maybe you forget that. Thirteen years I work hard. And I don't have a satisfaction to put aside one red cent. Not one, I say. When in court I hear, passaport, passaport. But I go to Italian consulate and ask them, please furnish me for the via, because I go back in Italia, but I don't even have the box for fries. After I work like dog in America, I have to go back in Italy, like I come here. The same way, without money. <laughs> I want all to have means to live. I want our sons to have the good education, good beginning. Black, white, any colors, all who do honest work. And I don't want these big shot capitalists who are good only to keep money in the bank when they get idea to have a war, make a these poor boys go and die. We don't want this. War, we don't want. We have the truth. These Italians, Greeks, Poles, Puerto Ricans, Chileans, it's sad to think of their supreme efforts to put down roots in a superior society, trying to adjust to our way of life, to our way of thinking. It's just racism. But, members of the jury, isn't it racism of a terrible kind that sets against loyal American citizens, conscientious, reliable witnesses, a mass of poor immigrants, people who know nothing of our American ideals, the great ideals of democracy and justice that govern the free society of our land. People who can't even speak our language. Racism! Racism! These are the same ideas that the members of the Ku Klux Klan are spreading around. Ku
Vanzetti, a radical. Speak to us of violence. Why, after seven years, must I hear all that? You said it at my trial, and I say that your society, which we are forced to live in, and which we want to do away with, was always constructed on violence. To have to beg for one's bread is violence. The misery and famine which millions all over the world live in isn't that violence. War is violence, and money. Even the fear of death we have. Each one of us is violence. It is for this I speak of violence. And you, Signor Fuller, why don't you tell me plain and simple? Bartolomeo Vanzetti, your petition for clemency is denied. was life I was living or dead. I wanted to return to embrace you and your mom again. Forgive me, my child, for this unjust death, which takes you away from a father while you are still so young. Today, they can burn our bodies, but they cannot destroy our ideas. Those will remain for the youth of the future, for the young people like yourself. Remember, my son, the happiness you have when you are at play. Don't keep that happiness all for yourself. Try humbly to understand your neighbor. Help the weak. Help those who cry. Help the persecuted, the oppressed. They are your best friends. <laughs> 